As a business owner, you probably already know how important it is to optimize your website. And just in case you don't, according to a KPMG report, 47% of consumers check out a company's website before they make a purchase. If you feel like your website isn't generating as much traction as you'd like, and maybe time to reassess your web design. Here are the five most important parts of a web page that could make or break your web performance. Starting with site navigation. Sites with poor menu structure or no clear direction on how to get around typically see a high bounce rate. That's when someone only visits one page before leaving a website, and that usually happens because they couldn't figure out how to get where they wanted to go. So make sure you or a web designer provide clear, obvious navigation tools for your visitors, such as drop-down menus and search bars. Speaking of being clear, you also want to make sure your headers and titles are just that, clear. The titles of each web page should speak directly to the challenge or question users are seeking when they look at your content. Great headers will allow users to easily skim and comprehend your web content, and they should be able to log onto your site and find what they need with ease because your titles are descriptive and informative. Now, this next one is really important. When building out your web pages, consider your content on each page. If it's a blog page, the content on the page will likely be the text in your posts, while a product page or a service page may have some shorter text describing its value or introducing visuals. Great web content is important because it will help your website appear higher on search engines like Google. This content is exactly what search engines pull from to give your site credibility. And while text is important to your website, so are images and videos. 62% of younger generations want visual search capability. So that younger CEO you've been pitching to for the last couple of days may just come around because of the videos and images on your website. And lastly, you should be utilizing social media buttons as part of your web strategy. Online stores and e-commerce companies with some sort of social media presence make 32% more sales than those who don't. So if your business is active on social media, and it better be, make sure to flaunt that on your website. So to recap, in case you missed it, your web presence strategy should include functional site navigation, clear headers and titles, great written content, images and videos, and a clear social media presence. If you need any more tips on your web presence strategy, take a look at Clutch's blog.